Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is Real Living. Listen to a very important thing, and that is this. Let your children be themselves. Now, the problem with many parents is they try to mold their children into the person that they want to be, even if the child's personality doesn't fit the mold. So what you need to do instead, instill good behaviors and values in your child. But give your child the freedom to be themselves. You know, children, like all humans, have quirks and different personalities. Let those personalities feel, flourish. Love your child for who they are, not what you want them to be. So it's absolutely essential that you pray about your child's future and how you deal with each one. Now, I have four different children. I have two children that are very artsy, very uh, kind of free-flowing, and then I have two children who are very intellectual, very academic, and each one is totally different. And what we learned to do while they were young was steer them in a direction, but let them be themselves. And that's what you need to do. You're going to find out that your children are a combination of both you and your spouse, <laughs> either good or bad. So it is important that you just let them be themselves. And as well, be a guide and a, and a mentor to them. Understand that the Lord has given them particular qualities, particular talents, particular interests. And your responsibility as a parent is to give them an environment in which they can grow. I know this is kind of a, an interesting analogy. I have been a gardener uh, on and off for years. And I've discovered that if you put the right sunshine and the right soil and the right amount of nutrients in the soil and when the rain falls and have certain ways of collecting the rain and providing uh, the water, it's amazing how quickly a uh, plant will grow and it will look different from the plant next, do next to it. And uh, the reason being is that that seed or that plant has a different personality from the other plant. What we need to do is understand that our children, they need a good environment. They need to have love where they can sprout. They need to have uh, consistency that will help them to see that there are certain boundaries. They need to know that they can be who they are and that you're going to work with them to make that happen. You see, God has a plan for their lives, not your plan, His plan. Allow Him to use you to steer them in their direction. But you know what? Let them experience for themselves what they need to be. And be a guide and a director for that. But don't try and mold them into your image, because God made them in His image. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is Real Dads. You have yourself a great and godly day.